nothing on the Champions League, but we mentioned PSG. So, so they get knocked out. Neymar, as usual, comes under immense criticism. And then just a couple of days after, I mean, the, 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 the blood isn't even dry yet. Uh, and they announced that they've agreed this mega uh, extension with Neymar. Uh, four years, he's earning 30 million euros per season in base salary and all sorts of bonuses that are going to make it more than that. So uh, this has triggered an interesting reaction. I-, I said recently that you know this entire thing was being viewed through the prism of Neymar and whether he was willing to pledge his future to PSG. Well, although I'm a Neymar fan, I felt like more questions should be asked from the PSG side of things. Even if you think all the criticisms of Neymar are unfair and you love him as a player, just his age and injury track record the last few years alone makes it questionable to hand him this kind of contract. Uh, but they, they did. Uh, and, and the reaction in France has actually been very mixed. Uh, so, I mean, what, what, what do you think about Neymar uh, signing a four-year extension with PSG? I think... Neymar maybe took stock of his life and his moment in life right now and said, I got it good. All right. Uh, They're going to pay me a ridiculous amount of money. I am still looked at as one of the greats in the world. There is still the goal out there that they are going to fuel and feed to win Champions League. And I can certainly be a part of that. Lifestyle wise, I, I dig, I dig living over here and I, and this is a, a good place for me. So I, I did, but I didn't, I thought that he would have more of a wandering eye uh, at this moment. And so, so I, in that sense, I think it is, it is a surprise. And I guess in that sense, it's a, it's, it's a coup, but you're looking at it much more from a PSG perspective saying, is this good for them to have done? Yeah, well, and I'll get to the Neymar end of it too, but but I guess from a PSG perspective, they're reading the tea leaves and feeling like Mbappe is going to go. He's going to uh, force a move to Real Madrid and that Messi is going to stay. Uh, I, I now think it's like a 95% certainty that Messi resigns with Barcelona. And so they, they didn't want to be shut out altogether in this sort of game of superstar musical chairs. So at least give Neymar whatever he wants, lock him up. At least we have a, a big, sexy star to build around and they'll go from there. We'll see what kind of team they can build around him. I do think, like I said, Mbappe is going and Messi's not coming. So it's right now. So it's going to, when the dust settles, it's just going to be Neymar and whoever else they can bring in. Um, and, you know, they want to have him. Uh, from what I read, they, they want to have a big star, uh, when the uh, 2022 World Cup in Qatar rolls around. Uh, obviously, the Qatari uh, own PSG. They want to have like a PSG player be like one of the prominent stars at that World Cup. So that's part of the calculation here. Um, from the Neymar perspective, um, I just wish there was an option C uh, hmm. because it seems like it was either re-sign with PSG, which I don't love, or go back to Barcelona and go back to being Messi's sidekick, which I don't love either. It, it sounds like this Barcelona regime with Laporta was much more open to bringing him back than the previous president, uh, Bartomeu. So had Neymar pushed it, I think he probably could have potentially gotten his move back to Barcelona. When you consider the fact that his contract was set to run out in 2022, same as Mbappe. So with both of them, PSG was in this awkward, well, if we can't sign him to an extension, we probably have to sell them to avoid losing them for free. Um, and that's where I think it's going to play out with Mbappe and Neymar could have, could have played it out that way as well, but instead he's chosen to resign. So I, I guess he views that as the lesser of two evils to going back to Barcelona. So, you know, I, I would have lo- I would have loved to see him go back to Barcelona. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Just for the, just for the content. <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> you like that clip? Well, my state of the union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.